Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to the Acoustic versus Classical series here on Lickin' Riff, in which I provide you an in-depth comparison between the acoustic guitar and the classical guitar, the ins and outs, the techniques, everything. So in the first video of the series, we talked generally about the sounds, the differences in sounds and sound characteristics. And the main uh, thing, the main point to remember um, is that on a classical guitar, each string has its own sound, has its own voice, has its own character. Whereas the acoustic guitar is designed to give you a uniform, steely sound. Um, the strings are supposed to work together. And on a classical guitar, you kind of need to know how to work the strings separately. That's what you need to remember. So let's start with technique and how to produce the sound. Now, um, we've been learning finger style and acoustic guitar here on Lick and Riff for nine years now, so um, we've discussed that enough. The acoustic guitar is here for sound comparison. Let's start with the basics, with vibrato, with or vibrato, uh, however you want to call it. Um, so, uh, you probably all saw this movement, while on an acoustic guitar, it's more, it's more like this, okay? Um, on an acoustic guitar, you either push the string or use your hand as an, like an anchor and just, okay, just uh, vibrate using the hello or what? What? I can't hear the Hulk Hogan uh, movement. So on a uh, classical guitar, this would be way, way too much. Okay? And, and it wouldn't really produce that classical vibrato or vibrato uh, or vibrato, uh, which uh, we all know and love. And um, the, the, there are many ways to do this vibrato uh, movement. Okay? You can do it slowly. Okay, it's left to right, or right to left, okay? And it's just like this, just a very slow movement. But if you uh, speed it up, okay, you get a really interesting, okay? So it's, it detunes a little bit. Can you hear this? Okay, it's, if you try it on an acoustic, you don't get the same... Uh, it, it, it distorts the sound a little bit, but it doesn't distort the note. Yeah, it's like... Something. Even if you do it quickly, it doesn't really work. That's because of the nature of the nylon. Okay, and on the... That's that's the way you you vibrate. You can you can do the 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 um, the anchor vibrato, but it doesn't really sound doesn't really sound good because the nylon does not express it, it doesn't react um, as well to this because the nylon is way more flexible. Okay, so when you do this, you have to really. You have to really pull it in order to achieve what you can achieve on an acoustic guitar in a very, very smooth motion, okay? Um, it's, it's just the same thing with, okay, with, um, with bending strings. You have to bend the string really, really high, like twice as high, almost to the top of the fretboard. Okay? In order to reach the same note as you would on an acoustic because of the flexibility of the strength. So that's the first thing that you have to know. The strengths are more delicate and okay? and you work them differently. The same goes for, let's see if the second string detunes. I'm pleasantly surprised. 
because uh, of their flexibility, um, classical guitar strings are really hard to keep in tune. You need to work on them. You need to pull them out and condition them until they're uh, stretched um, and conditioned to stay in tune. So the, um, the vibrato is the, the first thing that you have to know. It's not a style difference. It's a physical difference between the strings and how they're built and how they react to your fingers and how the strings vibrate and how the strings produce the sound. Um, it's not just the difference in classical sound versus modern sound. That's not it. So the same goes for all sorts of sounds. Um, if you slide a note, Okay, on a classical, you actually hear all those notes in between. Okay, even... Okay, now uh, you might say, yeah, but you're sliding really, really slowly. Not so slowly. Okay, that's what... Okay, the slides on... Uh, and uh, acoustic guitar are way more, uh, are way smoother than on a classical guitar. Okay, uh, I was doing. Okay, you hear it as one slide, like whereas on the classical guitar you hear, you hear the, you hear all those notes going up. Okay, uh, let's say the slide on uh, an acoustic guitar is a W, it's a whoa, whereas the slide on a classical guitar is an R, it's okay, so, okay, you hear those notes in between, so that's an expression tool, that's a very, very important expression tool. Um, Hammer-ons and pull-offs are pretty much the same, okay, it's the same thing on an acoustic and a classical, no, no, right, okay, no, no real differences there, except for one huge difference, okay, which is the characteristic of the sound. Because the uh, acoustic guitar is designed to give you a thin steel sound, okay, I'm not talking about frequencies, I'm not talking about, uh, about, um, dynamics, I'm not talking about anything, I'm just talking about the, the design, okay? The design of the acoustic guitar is designed to is meant to give you a thin, steely sound, okay? That's what the acoustic guitar is m made to do. Whereas the classical guitar is designed to be played as a solo guitar and um, the strings are designed are designed to give you a full expression. And um, even with simple licks, there are some licks like this one, which would sound pretty idiotic on an acoustic guitar because they're not, they don't use the strings correctly. Okay, you're not, you're not supposed to play something like this on an acoustic because that's not, you can't get the right sound out of this. Why, whereas here, Okay, this is a beautiful, beautiful line. And this example actually exemplifies um, better than anything the differences between these guitars. You can talk about uh, technique and flourishes and embellishments all day, but basically... Okay? Even silly lines like this one. Um, produce something out of the classical guitar. Okay? Just lacks luster. Okay? Because the steel is not flexible enough. It's not flexible enough, whereas nylon is flexible. And the flexibility uh, of it is what produces the sound. Um, it gives you a wider range of voices out of the same notes. Um, so um, 
in in this video this was a very technical video and I hope that you that you can hear what I'm hearing and what I explain and um, I, I want to help you hear this here are the differences um, it, it, anybody can say okay look at this and then play complicated stuff but it's the simple stuff that matters here I want you to be able to hear this that you can play simple stuff on a classical and sound better than uh, you would when you play the same simple lines on an acoustic. So uh, in the next video, we're going to go even more in depth and talk about rhythms um, and talk about um, dynamic expression. We're going to talk about a little bit of uh, flamenco technique, all sorts of stuff. So uh, we're going to have fun. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.